Welcome back to my channel guys. I got this box, been waiting for it. Received it earlier this week. Um, it's Friday now. Received it on Tuesday and you know what this is. You know what time it is. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's open this box. Haven't opened it yet, but we are about to open this box. All right, so I got the VHS right here. All right. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle 3. The VHS. The back there. And what I've liked the most about the figures, the NECA figures, and the VHS is that the VHS is actually, you know, the turtles, uh, the actors in costume for the turtles. And what the NECA toy tries to do is they try to recreate that with the figures that they are supplying you with. You know, so it's almost, um, no, nah, it's, not, it's not almost identical, but it's, you know, it's pretty close to the point where, you know, you, you feel like it's actually a VHS box and it even says they're back in time for their newest action figures. And this one says they're back in time for their newest movie adventures. All right, so let's go. This is what it looks like. Looking good. You got the top there, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3. You got the side there. Looking the same. And you got the back here, which, you know, what a VHS would look like. Gives you a little bit of detail. Says here, NECA, finally, NECA is giving Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle collectors the figures they've been dreaming of. These time-traveling heroes in a half-shell are ready to fight for space on your toy shelf. And, you know, I'm not going to read all that. That's probably something similar to what the VHS movie does. But it gives you the description of what it comes with. But actually, you know what, I have it right here. It says... Almost exactly the same thing. America's most awesome amphibians. You know. But there you go. Even got Donnie and Mikey right there. On the two corners. And they got that on the two corners. Uh, they don't have those other two. Because uh, those two other figures do not exist. As of yet. Alright, so right when I opened it up and took the figures out, you know, you have some good uh, art there behind. Very similar to uh, the movie Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3. And as you get closer to these guys, these guys look amazing. You know, I will take them out. Um, I don't know what difference each of these figures will be. Just by looking at it, majority of the outfit looks the same, you know. But let's go ahead right here. Let's go with Leo right here. His face looks exactly like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3. Same with Donatello. Same with Michelangelo. And same with Raphael. You have the three scepters. At least I think that's what they're called. I guess. And you got four of their masks right there. And if you can see right in the background, you got four head sculpts, which are meant for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the original one. So there you have it guys, out of the box. And I'm gonna tell you the truth, these figures look amazing. Not too sure you've 
ordered it when it was uh, those three days they had to pre-order. I'm going to tell you um, the first two days that I tried, couldn't get to it. I had one more day left. And for whatever reason, that last day, man, that pre-order thing was on for like five hours. But I got them. But let's look at each individual figure. All right, so let's go with the figure itself. I was looking through um, the other three, and uh, as far as the body is, uh, everything is basically identical except for Leo's, uh, you know, back part here for his uh, his swords. But as far as everything else, the detail, everything looks identical. Now, this comes off, this helmet comes off. Let's look at the helmet first, all right? Now, if, you know, they've gotten NECA, has, when it comes to detail, I think NECA, you know, does uh, does the job when it comes to detail. I know there are other manufacturers that, that pay attention to detail and are might be better than this, but for the price range of NECA, I think they've done a, a pretty good job with, uh, with the detail. But this is the helmet right there. Let's look at Leo. Always loving the eyes for the turtles. Uh, this looks like Leo from uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3. You know, as far as the movie goes, uh, as I got older, that that movie wasn't too good. But I remember watching it when I was younger, and uh, I enjoyed it. You know, so, but for me, number one, number two is my favorite. Number three, I could watch. I could still watch it today, but it's just not, you know, it's not as exciting as one and two for me anyways, but look at Leo there. You know, you even got you know, the turtle, those, that rigid uh, reptile feel detail right there for his head, right? They've changed it a bit with this back part of his, uh, what do you even call this? Like a headband, an eye band. It's gotten quite longer than the previous other two. You know, the detail on the outfit here. I guess they're from Japan. Those little roses or flowers. Right, you got the rope or the... I don't even know what that is actually. You got the chest piece, the armor. Right, look at the detail on that. You know, even the skirt of this. Right, it's looking nice. But, you know, the paint app's pretty good. Oh man, maybe not right here. Actually, it's not. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. It's just the light, I'm guessing. Oh, maybe a little bit right here, but I'm not too worried. So there you have it with Leo. Okay, so let's go with articulation. Um, I'm just going to do one turtle because the rest of them are the same. The head goes up. A lot higher than the other two previous uh, NECA turtles. Head, rotation, fits perfectly if it goes side like this, side like that, droops down, looks good. Same with the front. Let's go with the arms. As you know, you I just opened this and look, you see the paint app. Not the best there, but I'm not going to complain. They got, what are these? Maybe the butterfly joints. Uh, yeah, they are. 
Don't know why these turtles look a little bit bulky with their outfit on, but as you can see, they do have butterfly joints. You know, arm goes up like this. This high, you can rotate it. 360. Same with this, you know, this is as high as it goes for that. As high as it goes for that. You got the elbows. Not double jointed, but this is how high the elbow you're able to go the legs let's see the legs so not quite the splits you probably could do the splits but it might be broken i mean it might break if you do there you go right there the knees I, I'm, you're not gonna get too high with the knees especially with uh, the pants in the way there but you know what can't get too high either with the leg Right, but I guess the way that they made these not is not meant to really be played with in that way, especially with the with the way this how their clothes are. They're supposed to look like samurai and if you remember in the movie they didn't really didn't look like they can move too much. Especially when who was it that fell? Mikey or Ralph that fell off that horse? Even in a live action uh, movie, didn't look like, <clears throat> sorry guys, didn't look like he could move too well. But there you go with Leonardo. All right, let's go with Ralph. Uh, same thing. Helmet, actually, you know, I was just pushing on this thing and it actually hurt my finger. But um, pretty pointy there. But same thing, helmet. Is able to come off. Raphael looking good, as you can see um, from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles one to two and to three. The turtles start to get more, uh, I would say, not as they start to get more kid friendly with their images. So. So it doesn't, I, I, I'm guessing, so it's more of a PG. It doesn't scare the kids. But there you go with Ralph. He is a little bit lighter than Leo. But the same, the detail on this is really nice. Let's see, let's bring in Leo. Um, actually, no, they're the same color. But for whatever reason, or maybe a, a hair lighter than, a, I, I don't even know, never mind. He just looks lighter, but. But there you have it for Ralph's head. And here we got Mikey, same thing. Helmet's coming off, let's look at Mikey. You know, a little bit, yeah, I don't know. My Mikey looks like he's got some dentures in there because that teeth looking, it's looking a little bit horrible. But anyways, this is Mikey's face. From the side there. From the back. Details looking nice still. 
I don't know, something about Mikey that I'm not feeling, but, you know, this is him. Last but not least, we got Donatello. There you go. He looks nice. He looks, well, he he's looking a lot better than Mikey. I don't know, maybe I got a bad head sculpt on Mikey, but <clears throat> other than that, looking pretty good. Donatello, and again, loving the eyes. That purple, the purple's just glowing. Right, that vibrant color popping out right there, especially with Donatello and, you know, he's looking good. The detail on this is nice as well. Uh, the only problem with these, you know, right here you got Donnie, you got Mikey, and you got Ralph. I don't know where they put their weapons. Like, they, they, do, they, do we just slide it in here? And in there, and Donnie, I guess it just slides in the back because, um, you know, with in one and two, they got, they, they have slots for them, for their weapons, but not with these guys. All right, so let's go with accessories here. You got the main scepter right here, looking good. With the Japanese letters going on right there. Don't ask me what it says. I don't even know if it even means anything, but you got that detail there looking nice. You got that you know, kind of that matte gold happening. So this is the main scepter right here, looking nice. You got the broken scepter, which is also nice. I don't know how close I can go, but you even got that glass shatter right there and looking a little dirty. You know, even the top portion is, is slanted a little bit where it looks like it's been dropped or so that's looking, you, you can even see inside there, you know, where that thing starts that, I don't know what you call it, that hologram spinning, that hall effect spinning thing going on. You know, same with this, you got the Japanese words that are now a little bit distorted. You know, the bottom of it, and the, you know, the detail on these accessories are amazing. And then you got this one, this uh, homemade one. I call this a bootleg, of a, a fake one, right? Just looking maybe a big bamboo stick that they made it out of. You know, even detail on this is pretty nice. That paint app, you see it right there, it looks like at least two or three layers of a uh, of different paint shading going on there but this looks pretty nice as well okay so next seen these before Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 the first one Michelangelo's nunchucks you know I think the first one uh, this might have been made out of uh, thread or Something like that, but I'm not too sure. But there you go with the nunchucks. You got Donatello's staff, his bow staff. Not too sure how different it is from the second and the first one, but I'm pretty sure it looks identical. Maybe just a different color. Same with uh, Raphael Sai. Seen these before. Might be a different color, but looks nice. You got Leonardo's sword, his samurai sword. Now, this is different. You know, they changed the handle on this, looking more like an actual samurai sai. Oh, samurai sai. A samurai sword from japan 
I assume that's why the details on it are a little bit different. But this is his sword. Looking nice as well. You know, and his other one. I think with the first Ninja Turtles, I broke one of these. And these are very easy to break. Easy to break. I super glued mine together. But be careful with these. And you got the two... What are these? Pirate swords? These are the two swords that I believe Michelangelo was uh, was carrying for uh, a little bit. But these, I'm pretty sure, are for Michelangelo and uh, part of that movie. Extra hands. Closed fisted. In case you wanted to get them to punch somebody, gripping hands, gripping hands, they look very similar to the to the one that that's on them right now. But maybe this one is just a little bit smaller. But or maybe this is for Mikey holding that sword. Not too sure, but you know, smaller gripping hands. You got these. Hands here, I'm pretty sure, are for Raphael to hold his sigh upside down, I guess, when he's when he's fighting. So you got a set of hands with you got a pair of hands here. You know, you got a pair of open hands. Right. Look at the detail on this on these hands. The details are looking nice. Just the paint, the fingernail, you know. Those lines on the fingers, you know, I think these might be Donatello, not too sure. And they come with uh, high three hands. Can you? But, or you can use it for something else, you know, in case Mikey gets a three pointer. The hands come up three, but you gotta set of hands here and last but not least you got these masks i'm not too sure with um the color wise of the, the mustache and the goatee there but i got one two one of them's on uh donatello right now but i don't know who wears who what but might have to look at the movie to be more accurate but they are different colors and I got, you know, this one I think was purple. Or it looks purple anyways. That's why I put it for Donatello. Alright, so. I'm going to put this one on Mikey. I mean, I'm going to put this one on Ralph. Now, if you want to figure out how this actually goes on. How I did it was I took this back piece out put this around their mouth and put this right under there put that back in and there you have it same with the that back part here goes slides right in and there you go that's how you put that on or anyways that's how I put it on anyways and you do that the same with all the figures. All right, so you also got, I think these are, what are these? The ropes, I'm guessing. And let's get rid of that. One, two, three, four, and you got the ropes here. And, be, and there's a wire, bendable wire that's in there. And I guess this just goes over the body. So let's try it with, with Leo here. I guess this just...
I should have done it with somebody else. Unless Leo has his own. Oh, I was. Leo does have his own. Okay, let's not put this on Leo. Let's put this on uh, somebody else. Okay, there you go. Let's try Raphael. Bend it if you want, make it look nice. That's what it looks like with the robe. All right, last but not least, you know, for the accessories, this one, for some reason, they added uh, more head sculpts for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1. You know, so this is their head sculpt here. Um, I don't know. Not. I'm happy with the accessories. I say I give it a 10 out of 10 with accessories, but I'm not. I don't know. I think they could have done better, better with Leo's head. Um, this looks. This may look like the very ending of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles where uh, Shredder has him on the ground on the rooftop and is about to, I guess, stab his chest or his neck and he gives out that face. Not too sure, but that's what it looks like to me anyways. But not a huge fan of this head sculpt, but hey. I do have the accessory set, so you know, an extra head sculpt doesn't hurt. Same with Donatello. Uh, I may have a paint up issue there underneath his eye. Not too sure or supposed to be like that, but you know, same with this head sculpt. I think it, right, not the greatest, but hey, extra expressions um, never hurt and let's go with Raphael Raphael you know if he looks mean in this one which is which is how he looks in the original movie the first one anyway so this is a head sculpt that I like of his um, you know he's probably my my second favorite head sculpt right now because we are about to go to the one that I love the most, and it is Mikey. I don't know for some reason this one though this this head sculpt is just just original Ninja Turtles one. Like I forgot there's a scene where the, he he has this expression and the, this is the face that I remember Michelangelo the most. But this one is probably my favorite by far out of the other three. So not not looking too bad, eh? Look at that! Look at that detail in that the teeth, the tongue. You know the eyes, the dots. Can't wait to put them on the the turtles and see. What he looks like and there you have it guys teenage mutant ninja turtles 3 with all the accessories right there hope you guys enjoyed the video please like subscribe to the channel 
And you know what, Kino, I'm going to open Kino soon, so stay tuned for him. And I will see you next time. Peace.